I went back to China after four years, and this is what I experienced. Needless to say, I ate a lot. I'm currently in my apartment in New York City, but I will be heading to the airport in an hour to go to China, and I won't be returning until next year. So goodbye, New York, for a while. Thank you and enjoy your flight. Finally, after four years, I am returning to China for a little vacation. This is my second day or the first full day in China. Still have jet lag and everything. The weather is nice and all. It's good to be back for a little bit, and um, I'm about to head out for my first meal in China. First meal in Chengdu, China. I'm currently at this place called Tao De Sha Guo. It is a chain restaurant, but uh, it is pretty good. Here we have Qindou Fei Chang, intestine with green peas. This is intestine. Mm. Yeah. Very rich and fatty, nice bouncy texture. This is called Su Rou, fried pork coated with batter. Mm. Oh, really good, crispy. And you have some like ketchup for the dipping sauce. A little sweet. There's also slight citron peppercorn in it, so you have a bit of numbing numbing sensation. Here we have bamboo shoots. Mm. Mm. This bamboo shoot was made by picking it with a toothpick to make it like a, almost string-like. There's no way you can achieve this by slicing. Mm. Crispy, refreshing. You have a slight sesame oil and scaling oil. Very pleasing fragrance. This is wuyu. A uh, type of freshwater fish with sour cabbage and soup. Mm. Really tender, really delicate. Umami, slightly sour. A little crunch on the sour cabbage as well. Yuanzi, pork meatball. Usually 30% fat, 70% lean. Really tender. This one has the meatball and also wood ear, mushroom. Really, really tender. Tomato soup. More qindou fei chang. This is one of my favorite. First meal in China, fantastic. So far, everything has been great. The weather is great, but uh, I kind of have a reverse cultural shock because it's like too clean and too orderly and too like socialism, core value, everything. It's just uh, everything is too nice and uh, almost like staged. I know it's not, but like, you know, I'm more used to like Gotham City type of situation, like New York City shit and crackheads everywhere type of situation. So that's funny. Family meal. This is called Yang Rou Tang, which is lamb soup, but there's more than lamb meat. There's also offal and uh, blood as well in this broth. This is like a traditional thing we eat during the winter. All right, so we have the soup base and we have a little bit of everything. Um, chicken powder, salt, cilantro, chili, and the uh, scallion. Mmm, really hot though. Mm. It's so rich in flavor and so umami and just so hot. Good family meal. Second day in China. Right, first we have an egg, baozi, pork bun with pork inside, and Espresso coffee, very Sino-Western. This is more Italian. 
这个墨鱼呢，就是一般是峨眉山这种高山一种快定植物，磨成粉之后，然后在水里面进行浸泡，然后挤出浆，再通过类似于点豆腐、豆花这种方式，使它凝固，这成块块，就在烧，很入味。这个是腊肉和香肠，烟熏的，这个就是红牛鸡片。那边这个是煮这个腊肉汤汤，同时也把萝卜煮煮起，这样子汤也有了，菜也有了。This chili oil is so good, so aromatic. Like this is better than any of the chili oil I had in New York City. Today I am at downtown Thai Kuli. I'm hungry, so I'm just gonna eat whatever. This is a 3D screen. Look at this. It's like the raccoon is popping out. I decided to go to this one because this one has a lot of people waiting. Okay, so now I'm inside this noodle restaurant called San Shen Mian. So look at all these items out here. These are the menu. There's the specialties, or kind of. I was asking them, hey, do you have any specialties? They would be like, oh, we're like an old restaurant for like over 20 years. There's no specialties. Only new restaurants have specialties. So here, everything is specialty, I guess. The table is kind of greasy though. But well, here we have two noodles. This is Su Jiao Zha Jiang. Both were. Two liang. That's like the measurement. Liang is 100 grams, so two liang is 200 grams. That's like the standard here. This is basically、uh, like a very classic, which literally means like、uh, mixed sauce. Just look at the sauce. Very aromatic, chili oil and everything. I haven't been having this for like a long time. Probably the last time I had this was like over eight years ago. Oh, it's all right. I have better ones. I expect it to be like a bit more like separated. I don't know. Maybe they cook it a little too soft. But the flavor is good. The very signature. You have like this little aromatic chili oil. Maybe a little bit like sesame paste in it. I'm not sure if this、um, there is it. I think there is. Pork fat, soy sauce, aromatic, a little spicy. Another signature profile, aside from the chili oil and the slightly fatty pork, is a strong presence of garlic flavor. This is the second item, Fei Chang intestine noodle. As you can see, there's little intestine here. Same noodle. Hmm. This is better, probably because it's in the soup liquid. But the noodle is like not particularly chewy or have the strength. It's like a little on the softer side. This is the Fei Chang fatty pork intestine. Mmm, <clears throat> that is good. Fatty, oily. Yeah, you have like this signature pork fat flavor from the intestine.、And、the flavor of this one is comparably milder than the one that we just had. This is basically just like the broth that you're cooking the intestine. So you have like this intestine broth and some chili oil and some like burnt chili flake as well. So like a hint of smokiness, not really that spicy. Let's sip the broth. This is actually really hot because it has like a layer of. Oil on the surface, which like retain a lot of heat. I was trying to like take a big sip, and I was like, "That is hot." As you can see, it's still quite hot, but manageable. This is my first Chengdu noodle experience after know, six, seven years. This is a hotel. Check these two out. These are elevators installed by the building. They are definitely doing renovation on this one as well. I heard that starting from this year, this kind of self-service sugary water or dessert drink, whatever that is, is quite popular. So how this works is that you pick whatever drink you want from here. All by yourself, then you can scan the code here to pay, all under no supervision, hence self-service. This is not like Amazon Go where like it scans your face. This one just you gotta do on your own. And I'm pretty sure this won't survive in New York. This is pumpkin milk. Hmm, really good. I am being a full-on tourist for the day, and I've been walking all day. Now I'm gonna find a spot for quick dinner. 
I am currently at this place is called Xiang 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 Aromatic Valley. This is sort of like a valley with all kinds of restaurants. This place is um, kind of touristy for local people and kind of pricey and uh, well, but whatever. I'm having zi gong food today, which is a type of Sichuanese food. So zi gong is a city from Sichuan. If you're not from China, you haven't heard of this place. And it's known for like really spicy food. Also, this portion is massive. First dish, we have this yao hua pork kidney. Mm. Oh, really good. Actually, really crispy, a little spicy, and you have numbing sensation from the Sichuan peppercorn. Aromatic and quite umami as well. The kidney is very tender. I think there is uh, pickled pepper, spicy umami, a little bit numbing. Now you have to eat this while it's hot. Once it cools down, it starts to develop this livery flavor a little bit. So look at this kidney here. It's been like sliced in a way, it kind of like flowers up. We call this hua dao in Chinese. Second item here, we have this fei chang yu, intestine fish. So like this comes in a huge pot with broth and everything and big slices of fish like this one and strong peppercorn, cilantro, some sliced ginger. This is normal spicy. It's very hot. Also, a lot of small bones in there. You see these tiny bones out there? You gotta be careful with that. The fish is pretty good and tender, but it's just like it's got bones in there. It's just a, not a very smooth eating experience. Quite hot, a little spicy. And you have this numbing sensation from the citron peppercorn. Also very fragrant, but a lot of bones. Some water and also just a, another cultural shock. Or I should have known this, but in Chinese restaurants, they don't have cold water. If you ask for cold water, they're going to look at you as if you're some kind of weirdo. They don't have like hot water or tea, unless you buy like this uh, mineral water from the bottle. If you want to ask them for like ice water or chill water, they don't have it. Let's have some intestine. This intestine has been complete clean out, stripped of its oil, so it just like kind of tastes like the texture of it. But unlike the one we had earlier today, which has like the intestine fat in there, this one's less heavy. Mm. Mm. Nah, pickled chili, that is spicy. This thing is more like an afterburn. Immediately you ate it, you're not gonna feel it's really spicy, but after like half a minute, then it started to build up at the back of your throat and that it's like, Wow. The food is very fragrant and spicy and numbing. I still have like this numbing sensation all in my mouth. Another day, another meal. I am having noodle today. Today I'm at this place called Shi Yu Mian. This is like a very old school traditional food in Chengdu. Check out this table here. It is made with an entire slab of wood. This thing is really expensive. So we have two items here, Hai Wei Mian, noodle with flavor from the ocean, and this is steamed beef. This is a specialty only in Chengdu. We have some shrimp, mushroom, bamboo shoots, squids. The broth is almost like milk. Look at the color, amazing. Also piping hot. So back in the old days, before the refrigeration technique is widespread, people don't really have fresh seafood product here because Chengdu is nowhere near the ocean. So what they did instead is that they come up with this method where they basically use the dry goods, dry squid, dry mushroom, and they soak in water and that they produce this ocean flavor noodle. And because you probably know that dry goods is actually more umami than fresh goods, all these like dry mushroom or rehydrated mushrooms, abalone, squid pieces really like provides it, the ocean umami taste. Well, enough talking. Look at the noodle here. Mmm. The noodle has nice strength and the, well, the soup is just like umami. This is not spicy at all. As you can see, one of those items in Sichuan cuisine that's not spicy. There are also some tribe pieces. You also gotta drink the soup. Oh, it's so warm and hearty. The description is just one word, umami. 
flavor from the ocean. Also, you need to have this Pao Cai, pickled cabbage. Mm. Also, signature. Mm. Really good. Slightly spicy, slightly sweet. Slightly sour, really crunchy. Next one, the perfect duo to go with the ocean noodle is this steamed beef. This dish has been around since the 1930s, so also a classic. As you can see, beef and chili oil in this small steamed basket. Cilantro, garlic, very finicky though. Oh yeah, the meat is tender and fragrant. Because this Hai Wei Mian ocean noodle is not spicy, we need something just has a little bit of a spice to balance that. Really tender, and you have like slight rice powder coating around the meat. Fragrant, a little spicy, not too much, and good amount of garlic flavor. The soup is made with chicken bones and pork bones, and boil under high heat to create this almost creamy white color. Completely destroyed. Another day, braised beef brisket. Mmm. Mmm. Today I'm catching up with a friend and I decided to have some hot pot here. I haven't had hot pot for a long time. This is the first time we having hot pot this year. This is Binker tofu skin. Mmm. This is how you America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was in the foot, uh, foot, foot, excuse me, the foothills of the Himalayas with Xi Jinping. That is pretty good. I just finished my hot pot. It was a great meal but I'm quite stuck. So I'm taking a rest here, sitting by the river. For those of you guys who have sticking around until this part of the video, I guess you probably care enough to hear what I'm about to say. If you have been watching my videos for a while, you know I live in New York and I cover mostly restaurants in New York City, but also everywhere during my travel. The reason I am in China this time is because I was actually born in this city, Chengdu. That being said, I'm still quite connected to China and this city, Chengdu in particular, and that's also why I decided to revisit it after four years. I will be staying in China until the beginning of next year. So during this time, there won't be much NYC content, but that being said, I'm quite excited about my trip here. I'll be shooting a whole lot of new content and share it with you guys. If there's anything you guys want to see in particular, just leave me down in the comments and I'll see if I can arrange those. So for my trip here, I plan to stay in this city, Chengdu, for a good amount of time. But I'll also be traveling a little bit around China or at least this province. I'll probably be visiting some lesser known city and try some of the more local foods. I also plan to visit some Michelin restaurants as well. Yes, Michelin has recently entered China and it covers several cities including this one. I'll be visiting maybe a few Mission Star restaurants here. So my trip here is gonna include a lot of foods here. Street food, local food, Mission Star food, the city, a little bit of traveling as well. And if there's anything you wanna see, leave me down in the comments. I think that's pretty much all I have to say. My arm is so tired from holding the camera. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.